What's up guys, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub channel. Let me first introduce myself. I am Nick Barcazzi from the channel, Nick Barcazzi. Welcome back from the intro guys. If you're looking to become a Lyft or Uber driver, please come to the Rideshare Hub app. It will show you how to make more money, give you tips and tricks to become a better driver. And if you want a sign on bonus, check out the uh, links in the description and um, use the codes. Be on your way to making more money. So basically this video today is gonna be a little ride along um, on my experience as a day in a life of being a Lyft driver. I currently am only doing Lyft, so I can't really explain too much about Uber, but today is gonna be a little Lyft experience and I'm gonna give you later my pros and cons on um, being a Lyft driver. So please, stay tuned. What's up guys? Okay, so pretty much I'm gonna sit here and let you guys know, um, kinda give you an idea of my pros and cons uh, working for Lyft. Now it's only been um, two weeks and only about like four days since uh, I, you know, four weeks that I've been driving because I do it on my off days as a part-time gig. So pros is you're an independent contractor, okay? So you work on your time and your expenses and um, at your leisure, whenever you feel like it. So you're pretty much your own boss, okay? Also, it's decent money if you know where to go, um, like a city or a heavy populated area in general or you know, events, if you know any events, make sure you get down there before or after the show. Cons, um, I guess the only con so far that I experience is like some downtime since I'm only doing Lyft. Um, a lot of rideshare drivers do both Uber and Lyft. Right now I'm just doing Lyft. Um, if I keep continuing to get bored or don't, you know, want a lot of downtime, I will open up both apps so I can um, keep getting rides, whether it's Uber or Lyft. Um, but so far, it's just the downtime, honestly. Um, other than that, I haven't had any bad experiences, considering it's only been two weeks. So those are my pros and cons. Tips. Tips for all you new drivers. Um, I would say invest a little bit of money. So get yourself a dash cam. There's you know low range ones and expensive ones. Um, get yourself a phone holder, for, you know, mount it on the dash or window so you're not touching it whatsoever during the drive. Um, and it's right front and center for you and the passenger to see. And it uh, makes them feel safe that you're not distracted on your phone. And um, obviously put your Lyft or Uber stickers where they're visible, um, especially in the front dash, front lower right. And, you know... I guess those would be my simple tips and um, yeah, just be safe, be smart, follow your gut. Don't pick up somebody that you think would be a danger. You know, just use your head is pretty much what I'm saying. Okay guys, so thanks once again for stopping in at the Rideshare Hub um, channel and uh, thank you for letting me, you know, be a guest on the show to let you guys, you new Lyft and Uber drivers, giving you a little bit of tips and insight on, you know, what you should look out for. And um, guys, if you're looking to sign up to be a Lyft or Uber driver, please go in the links in the description below and get that sign-on bonus. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Go and get it. And um, oh yeah, check out my channel, um, Nick Barcazzi. Links will be in the description as well. So yeah, check out my channel. It's going to, uh, you know, vlogs, reaction videos, you know, just day in the life videos, period. It's not just going to be just ride share. So if you're open to just taking a little bit of peek into my life, please feel free. Hit that link in the description below. And jump on over and smash that subscribe button. I'm telling you, I won't let you down. All right, guys, you know, enjoy. Please be safe. And ride on, guys. See you later.